Okay, today we're gonna to look at the Retro Flow, and here it is down here, and it's part of the Precept Pro Photoshop Actions Collection. You can buy it on its own, or you can buy it as part of the full collection. So let's just jump right in and take a look. And near the end of the video, I'm gonna show you the Play All feature, because it takes a moment to load in your Layers panel, but let's just go ahead and make it retro. So here's our first action. I'm gonna hit Play on this. And there it's given it a nice sort of retro look already. So now we're going to go down to another section, Film Fade, and let's go with Bleach. Well, that's a little bit too much here, so I'm going to jump it down to 30%, and let's move on. So let's go, let's give it a bit of a vignette. I'm just going to go with the low one here. There it's giving it a nice vignette around there, and now let's go with, I'll show you the dust feature because that's pretty cool. So I can hit play on this, you gotta hit OK. And I will need to zoom in on this one so you guys can see and I'll show you before and after. So there you can sort of see the dust, so I'll turn this off so you can see it. And there you go, and the nice thing is you can keep clicking this and adding more dust. So it just makes another layer and more dust appears. So I'm gonna zoom back out, let's just keep it in here for this demo and start playing with the light leaks. I'm just gonna start with the first one. There's a nice light leak band, which looks pretty cool, like the old cameras when they would have light leaks and it would affect the film and give this cool effect. And that's kind of a popular look right now. People like to mix and match. And you can dial it down, so if you don't want the effect too much, or you can open up this folder here and you can change the scale. You can make it larger, make it smaller, and you can change the angle on it or do all kinds of different crazy things. So I'm gonna cancel that out just so it goes back to the original and close the folder back down. And I will put it back up to 100% so you guys can see it better at home. Now I'm gonna go with the another one here. Let's just play with one more. Uh, the moon ones are pretty cool. Let's take a look at that. There's a nice sort of light leak moon effect. Uh, and then again, you can just dial that down to whatever you want, or you can turn it off, be like, eh, I don't want that, or I want it. And you can just play with the different layers here. So that's it, there's our quick little edit using the retro flow. Now we're going to jump into the play all feature, and I'll show you what it does when it loads everything into the layer panel. So I'm going to delete all these. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit the play all feature, and what it does is, it makes Photoshop go through this whole freak out thing where you, no need to worry, it only takes about a minute, minute and a half. And what it's doing is loading all the layers into your layers panel. And they're specified to each folder. So you can turn on and off whatever effect you want. And then that gives you a lot of flexibility for finding exactly what you want to do. So you, it's easy to click on and off. You don't have to play all these actions. So now you have to hit OK on the one that was the dust file. You do have to, because it's a rasterized file, you gotta hit OK. And with this, I think I'm gonna speed up this process um, just so we get to the end here and we can get playing with the layers panel. Okay, now we have the retro flow loaded in our layers panel, so we don't need the actions panel anymore because we have it all here. And I'll just show you quickly what you can do. And it's just open up each folder and you can turn on and off each action so you can mix and match and change the opacity or do whatever you'd like in that so then you can uh, also add wash to this and let's go with uh, vignette I'm gonna try the medium one again I'm just running through this very quickly and let's just try well, let's just turn on that one there you go that's it. So that is the retro flow in action with the play all feature to load in your layers panel. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.